addiction can help people beat addictions to alcohol and opioids. And in Omaha, there's a relatively new treatment program using a new form of medication combined with therapy. Right, a doctor implants a time-release drug that wipes out cravings, and then the patient goes through behavior therapy and coaching to make permanent changes. And patients tell us it's changing lives. Strolling through Midtown Omaha, he shares his story. Because I did inpatient, I did 90-day intensive outpatient, I did the hydrotherapy, uh, herbalistic stuff. Jeremy Miller lived with life-threatening alcoholism. He says he tried everything to quit drinking. I was as desperate as could be. If I had owned a gun, I wouldn't be here. He dealt with social anxiety and growing pains as a kid. As long as we got each other. Jeremy was the child actor playing the youngest son, Ben, in the 80s television sitcom Growing Pains. But as an adult, he says his brain was hijacked by a life-threatening alcohol addiction. Cravings for booze flooded his brain. It was just that constant bombardment of, I need, I need, when's my next drink? A few years ago, Jeremy found a treatment now being offered in Omaha by a program called I Got Sober. I, I felt like I had my brain back. I mean, that's really, I felt like I could actually think a, a coherent thought. <laughs> The Omaha program is finding success treating opioid and alcohol addiction. They use a combination of this time-release implant medicine called naltrexone, behavior therapy, and recovery coaching. Uh, the drug is a time-release pellet. It's been around for decades in other forms, and doctors say it blocks cravings in the brain, so alcohol and opioids have no effect on the body. When I received the implant, it was like someone flicked off the light switch. That's the best way I've ever been able to put it. The cravings just weren't there. There was no medicated feeling. I didn't feel drugged up. It was nothing like that. Omaha Family Practice Dr. Maman Ali does a simple outpatient procedure, placing the medicine under the skin near the belly button, where it's absorbed for months. How soon after the implant do people start feeling the effects? You know, it's immediate. As soon as one week after the therapy, as soon as we have the patient just come in for checkup. Creighton Prep alum Leo Allison went through this treatment more than six years ago. Now he runs I Got Sober as a recovery coach. Because they want kind of what you have, not in an ego sense, but in the fact that you have been where they are, you have recovered, and they want you to help them along the way. He says now Trexone stops the drug and alcohol cravings so that around the table, behavior therapy and coaching can finally take hold. Omaha native Tom Welch is VP of Operations and has 40 of these treatment centers across the country. The outpatient program lasts 12 months. Our program lasts a full year because behavioral changes don't happen in 30 days. They don't happen in 60 days. It, it takes time. What's the biggest challenge you've had so far? With now, six years sober, Jeremy is back to acting again, making movies and working as a peer support specialist for the program that he says rescued him. I am living a, a, a more joyful, happy life and free for once in my life than I've ever had. Really passionate guy. It's important to note that it's the naltrexone combined with behavior therapy that helps make those lasting changes. They say they have an 80% success rate. 80%? Yes. That is mm -hmm. remarkable. All right, what about cost? How much does this cost? Right, they tell me it costs about half of a traditional 30-day inpatient program. Mm -hmm. So it's not cheap, and they say many patients take advantage of financing. So mm -hmm. to learn more, you can go to igotsober.com. This sounds like an amazing yeah. program. Very All helpful. Right. Interesting, Jules, thanks. And one more note, national.